We're asked to find the first term and the common difference of an arithmetic sequence if the tenth term is negative 22 and the nineteenth term is negative 40. So again, we know that a sub 10, the tenth term is negative 22, and a sub 19 is negative 40. And there's two ways to solve this. One way is to pretend a sub 10 is really the first term. Doing this, we can determine the common difference d, and then come back and determine the first term of the real sequence. We'll show this method in this video. In the next video, we'll also show how to solve the same problem using a system of equations. So again, if we pretend that a sub 10 is a sub one, just to find the common difference d, we would have a sub one is equal to negative 22. We'll notice that 10 minus nine is one. So if we're pretending a sub 10 is a sub one, then we can also pretend that a sub 19 is equal to a sub 19 minus nine, or a sub 10, which is negative 40. Again, we found this 10 because we knew that 10 minus nine was one, and therefore 19 minus nine gives us the 10. Now using these values and the formula a sub n equals a sub one plus the quantity n minus one times d, we can determine the common difference d. If we substitute negative 40 for a sub n, we now know n is equal to 10. So we have negative 40 equals a sub one, which is negative 22, and then we have plus the quantity n minus one is the quantity 10 minus one times the common difference d, and now we solve for d. So we have negative 40 equals negative 22 plus 9d. Next step, add 22 to both sides. Simplifying, we have negative 40 plus 22, which is negative 18, equals 9d. Solve for d, we divide both sides by nine. And simplifying, we have d is equal to negative two. So now we know the common difference d for the arithmetic sequence is negative two. So now we can stop pretending and go back to the original sequence and determine the first term. So again, our goal here is to find a sub one with this given information. So again, using the formula a sub n equals a sub one plus the quantity n minus one times d, we need to decide whether we want to use a sub 10 or a sub 19 for a sub n. Let's go ahead and use a sub 10. So if we substitute negative 22 for a sub n, we now know that n is 10. So we know negative 22 must equal a sub one plus the quantity 10 minus one times the common difference, d, which we now know is negative two. So simplifying, we have negative 22 equals a sub one plus, here we have nine times negative two, which is negative 18. So we can write plus negative 18 or just minus 18. And then to solve for a sub one, we add 18 to both sides. And simplifying, we have a sub one is equal to negative 22 plus 18, which is negative four. So now we know the first term is negative four, and the common difference d is negative two. In the next video, we'll solve this problem again using a system of equations. I hope you found this helpful.